Hello, and welcome to this My Movies video tutorial on how to set up and use the parental control features. Here is a typical view of collection management. I am going to show you where to find the parental control settings and how to configure them. To access parental controls, click Tools, then Options. This is the Options window, where many My Movies configurations options can be set. For this tutorial, click on the Parental Controls option. To enable parental controls, under Settings, click Enable Parental Controls and enter a four-digit PIN. You'll then be asked to repeat the PIN to verify that you have entered it correctly. Simply click OK and your parental controls are now enabled. You may wish to keep a record of your PIN in a safe place should you forget it. You can now control which titles are displayed in your movies and TV libraries by using the restrictions drop-down menus. The choices available will depend on your chosen country. These, for example, are the movie and then TV levels for the UK. Users in the USA would see these movie level choices and these TV level choices. All users will see the rating levels for their selected countries. If you own titles from other countries with different rating systems, My Movies automatically matches them to the relevant local level. Users with titles in their collections that do not have a rating entered or which are unrated will need to take extra steps to ensure only the desired material is displayed as unset or unrated titles are treated as the lowest rating level. To block all unrated or unset titles, users should tick Block Unrated Titles. Then to provide access to those unset or unrated titles suitable for children, family or other groups, My Movies recommends using categories. Now, to demonstrate using the parental control settings and categories will require some titles. So here is a small example collection. And this is how the collection appears in the My Movies Media Center Movie Library with 50 assorted US and UK Blu-rays and DVDs. So, back in Collection Manager, changing the maximum allowed movie level to PG-13 and clicking Apply will reduce the number of movies available to view in the movie library. Remember that you must back out to the Media Center main menu and then re-enter the movie library for the parental control changes to take effect. As you can see, the number of available movies has dropped from 50 to 32. Now reduce the level to G and click Apply. Once again, back out to the Media Center main menu and re-enter the Movie Library. And there are now only seven titles available. However, as some may have already noticed, several of the titles still available would not be at all appropriate to the G rating selected they are still available because they are unrated titles, and as unrated releases can be anything from children's shows to horror films, my movies can't tell what viewing level would be appropriate for them. To prevent unrated titles being available in the movie library, in parental control settings, tick the box Block Unrated Titles and click Apply. After reopening the movie library again, there are now only two titles available. This is because blocking unrated titles has removed both the inappropriate and appropriate unrated titles. This is the drawback with blocking all unrated titles. It ensures inappropriate material is not displayed, but also blocks many titles you may want to be available. By returning to the view of the seven titles that were visible before blocking unrated titles, it is easy to determine that the five titles which disappeared have to be unrated titles. This includes both the two inappropriate titles and also the other three titles that would be appropriate. As mentioned briefly before, the My Movies recommended solution to dealing with issues related to unrated titles or ensuring that only the desired titles are available for younger viewers is categories. As demonstrating categories will require an example title, from our original seven, The Flight of Dragons will be used. Back in Collection Manager, 
In the personal data section of a title profile, in this case the selected example The Flight of Dragons, click on the Categories button. This will open the Select Categories window. From here you can create a category, edit a category, delete a category, or add a category to, or remove a category from, the selected title. Users can create as many new categories as they wish and associate them with their titles however they want. For the purposes of this demonstration, one new category suitable for children is necessary. As you can see, the newly created category has been automatically added to the title. Simply click OK and then click Save Title to save the category information with that profile. Reopen Parental Controls. Note that as parental controls have previously been enabled, you will have to enter your four digit PIN code each time you wish to alter these settings. And simply unblock all titles in the category suitable for children and click Apply. This was the state of the movie library with only two titles showing before we added the category. And if you back out to the Media Center main menu, and return to the movie library for the new settings, you can now see that the title, The Flight of Dragons, is displayed. The exact same settings and procedures apply to TV series as they do for movies, and you can use the categories as described to either block everything within, or everything without, or unblock everything within a category. If you wish to be able to see all your titles, it's not necessary to go back into collection management and turn parental controls off. You can simply click parental unlock within the movie library, enter your PIN, and all your titles will be available. You can then restore the parental lock either by clicking parental lock or simply leaving the movie library and it will be automatically restored when you return. That concludes this My Movies video tutorial on how to set up parental controls.